Hello folks and welcome back to Snow Runner. Uh, we are continuing our pair recovery mission. So yep, right now I am in the Azov 64-131 and we need to come over and we need to pick up the oversized cargo which is located here at the shipwreck. So let's get cracking. All right, the road leading to the shipwreck is extremely muddy. And I'm hoping this truck does okay in it. And so far it seems to be doing pretty good. I did complete the other mission from the last episode. Uh, where I was trying to get the... Uh, irradiated cargo and the vehicle I was using just it just was not working um, I tried to get those two cargos over to the uh -oh. Let's reduce the wheel spin a little bit there we go, pull right through it. Uh, I was trying to get them over there and the every little bump I hit detached the trailer and finally gave up and uh, dropped the trailer, took the vehicle back to the garage and got the got another vehicle over and uh, was able to finish the delivery. We still have this one to do, which is getting that vehicle out of there. Uh, I did, seems like forever ago, pull it out of the water, but it would not give me any mission to do with it. And now I see that we do have a mission. So don't know what the deal was with that. And right up here is our target. way would be better but we'll stick with this way other than the Tega I think this is the best truck I've driven in the mud You can get a good look at the ship now. Uh, we're not going through the water though. <clears throat> Think I will stay on drier land. So now I have to figure out 
how to actually get this down in there. And I believe I'm just going to pull on down here and then back the trailer up toward the water. Turn it around. So we need an oversized cargo. Oversized cargo. Takes up four slots. And I don't think... Yeah, there's not a route this way. So I'm going to have to turn it around. Slide it just down in the water a little bit. There's a trailer from Mud Runner. Two of them. So I was watching a video early, earlier, uh, before I started playing, from the YouTuber, his channel is A Tribe Called Cars, and he was reading some of the uh, developer's notes and stuff that were out, and they're talking about the Phase 1, uh, let's make sure I'm going the right way. Other than here, it looks fairly level. And I want to try to take it through here. So I'm just trying to look at the lay of the road. And that might be the way I attempt to take this. But anyway, they're talking about the uh, phase one. And let's actually go to daytime. That way I can see what the road looks like ahead of me. I don't have to rely on the headlights. Uh, but they're doing, they're going to be doing some bug fixes along with it. And new missions, different cargoes. Uh, plus two new maps. I think he's, I think is what I understood him saying. And they were going to be Russian maps with snow. So that should be pretty interesting. But it is only going to be for those folks with Season Pass. So here in the next, probably the next week or so, I'm going to go ahead and get the Season Pass. And see if that adds anything to it currently. And one of the things he did say was that uh, for those folks that don't have a season pass, you will still be able to play the new game, uh, the new maps, if you do a co-op mode with somebody that does have the season pass. Easy now. There you go. 
So that'll be pretty cool for uh, people that you know, may not be able to afford the season pass. Uh, I think the season pass is like $24. You know, sometimes $24 can mean the difference in between paying your rent or your mortgage and not being able to pay it. Swing out wide here. I'm going to hit those stumps. So like I said in my last video, I'm going to go through and pick out the Russian trucks that I like and the American trucks that I like and keep those and the rest of them I'm going to get rid of unless I need something specialized oh shit well so much for that idea See if I can get the truck at least put back over. Well, um, I can either go back and get another one. Oh, the winch. Or I can go get the big crane. That is at Drowned Lakes. I mean, uh, drown lands, and that's a pretty far way to drive it. So how about let's look at, hey, the sun's out. Look at that. Um, let's look over here at Zim. And we'll go to the garage here. Because I think that would be a shorter route. Because I have a truck with a big old crane on it. And I was going to use that for a couple of missions. You have to pick up small items and load them up. But this might be a good test for that big old crane. So in my truck storage, right there. So we need to go this way. And I'll try this, see how the how the crane does. Which truck is that? That I believe is the step. Yep. So let's get in it and get it out of the way first. I'm going to go ahead and take it into 
our garage area. Uh, because I think I may need to go the same way I'm going to take the crane with this. In order to get to the dock. And I may go ahead and get a different truck. I may get the Tega to pull this one over. Because it's going to be a uh, really muddy area. So, stop the engine. And change our truck. Always on. Always on. Wow, these are some smoky ass trucks. So, how are we going to get there? I am thinking. Could go that way, but it's just easier to go this way. And I'm thinking about heading this way and going out there. I think that would be closer to the truck. Oh, this has rear turning wheels. It seems like a head gasket's going in this thing. Oh wow, and it's getting stuck on everything. Okay, this is not a good idea. Not with this truck. It is way too low. And you can only get stock suspension. So, let's take this crane off. And let's see what other trucks that we have. I could put it on there. Uh, not really impressed with that one or that one. This one I haven't used yet. I put the seismic stuff on it. This one I haven't got the upgrade for the suspension. That one's just no way. Okay, let's give this one a try. And first off, let's see if I can put the crane on it, and I can. So I upgraded all the trucks as far as I could get them without finding more upgrades. It's a smoky one too. Okay, all-wheel drive and diff lock are always on.
Like I said, I haven't driven this truck yet, so I'm not sure what it can or cannot do. Has a little problem with the ditches. I don't believe I have the most powerful engine in it. There's still six upgrades that I have not found yet. And I think four of those are on the rift. But when I open the watchtowers, it showed me that there was upgrade locations told me that I had upgrade locations but it would not show me where they were at so I don't know if that's a bug or if it was supposed to be like that So got to come up here and get that car, deliver it. Yeah, I don't think that little truck is going to be able to go through here. Not pulling those slabs. Front end digs in. Too much front overhang. Okay, from here. Need to go there. Actually, I could just go. Ah, no, we'll stick to the road. So this crane should be big enough to pick those. Painters up if I don't roll the truck over. And I haven't bought the Fleet Star back yet, set it up for the big crane. But I'm thinking I'm going to. There we go. I believe that is our...
you have to excuse me if I get choked up a little bit. I got the, I had the windows open and somebody's burning something outside. So I've got some of that smoke inside the house. All right, so where am I going? So going up here, making a right. Follow this all around to there. So far, his truck's done pretty good. This may not have been the best road to bring the container down. But we're already invested into it. Just have to take it a little bit easier. I'm already halfway through my fuel. Be fairly close now. Stop and check our map. Getting there. This crane actually looks smaller than the one uh, for the American vehicles. Come on. Here we go. It's a good thing because I don't have much fuel left. Knock over some trees. And... Okay. 
So let's see if we can pick this thing up. Oh, this is going to be fun. Can't see the truck. Oh, it's not moving the truck hardly at all. I think the trees are messing me up a little bit. Swinging stop a little bit. Uh, this thing's just swinging like crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and just lower it down a little bit. Goes. Let's see if I can attach it now and change trucks. That cargo, good. So let's change trucks again real quick. And restore crane. And stop the engine, because I've only got 10 gallons left. Just in case I need it to uh, reload it again. All right, let's try doing this again with a little more care. And we'll do it in the morning. Matter of fact, let's just run it in low. Down another gear. Yeah, I believe this was not a good path to go down. But we're here now. Let's see if we can make the best of it. Sorry if I'm not talking much, I'm trying to concentrate.
That's going to be a little rough. Nope, actually it's pretty good. Let's trailer back up here on the road. Try to power through it. Okay, make sure I'm heading the right direction. Once I get here, I'm okay. It's getting there that's the problem. It's going to run it in low some more. But I got to thinking I'm right at some point. Ah! Uh, need to power through it. Okay, well, at least the truck's still running. And over here. And nope, it is not going to let me repack the cargo. Okay. So, almost made it. So let's go back to that one and we'll see if we've got enough fuel to get back. As long as I can make it to the other truck, I can split the fuel a little bit. I don't think I'm going to make it back to the other truck. Actually thought I could make it. Which is why I didn't put any extra fuel in here. Yep, I'm not going to be able to make it back or make it to that truck. This thing burns gas pretty good.
Yep, and we're done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will get one of the scout vehicles, come out here and put some fuel in this. And then we're not that far away. We'll put that back on and get it the rest of the way over here. Uh, but I'll do that in the next episode. Cause right now I do have a couple of other missions set up, so we'll go ahead and do those. Uh, with another truck that I haven't driven on here yet. Oh, I drove it over here, but... So let's go ahead and take care of this mission. Because by the time I got a scout vehicle out, put fuel in it, it would be the end of the episode anyway, so... We'll just make that the first part of the next episode. And I'll make sure I bring enough fuel to uh, to take care of everything. So what was this task? Uh, it's broken and won't budge. I think I would have more chance pulling the mythical sword from the mythical stone. But first we need to repair this vehicle. Could you help us? For sure. So I did bring this over. Because uh, I didn't know if I need fuel and repairs. Okay, and I do need fuel. So we will refuel. From the maintenance trailer. Oh, well, shoot. Well, that was easy. I thought I was going to have to tow it. So this does not have uh, all-time engaged all-wheel drive or diff lock. So you have to actually switch them. But it actually did pretty good coming over here. I'd actually forgotten what vehicle I brought over here. Uh, the problem with it is that huge front end in front of the tires. I mean, that thing is massive. So it does not like going down into little dips. That happens. But it does have plenty of power to pull itself out. Yeah, that front end's way too long. And as you can see, it has does not have much for a top speed. See what it does when we get up here a little more solid ground. It is powerful though.
actually have no idea where I'm going. Head to the sawmill. I don't want to go to the sawmill. Yeah, if it uh, had a smaller front end, I'd say this would be a pretty good truck. Somebody makes honey. Oh crap, I'm going the wrong way. Ooh, and this isn't going to be good. Because there's an area up here that this front end is really going to hurt me. But we'll see if we can get it back to the garage. actually don't know if it can climb out of there. And the bridge is just not an option. Well, I might just do it. Well, shows I don't know what the heck I'm talking about. I thought for sure that front end was going to hit and would not allow it to uh, come out of there. I kept seeing the yellow thinking that was the truck. When the yellow is actually the trailer. So I am actually enjoying the uh, mission to, for the uh, dock because it is tough and I think this game needs more missions like that that are extremely tough and challenging and it's going to cause you to spend a lot of time doing them. And as I've said before, I would mind missions where you had to make 10 different trips, carrying 10 loads to a place. I'm 
sure there are a lot of people out there that would disagree, but it would extend the gameplay. Because we are not that far from the end of this. Ah, I knew I was going to hit that. So we'll get rid of this trailer and recover this. And I think I have a plan. And the plan begins over here. And I've got to get fuel out to the crane. And there's a vehicle that I haven't tried out yet. So I believe that is the one I'm going to take. And it's already sitting out someplace. Well, poop. I was going to do the YAR, but I think it is in the garage in Drowned Lands. Yes. So I keep forgetting to, uh, to retain the vehicles before I move garages. And I might as well retain all of them. And then we will go back to here. And wait for it to load up again. Could take that one. I'm going to take something I haven't taken before. So I do have fuel on it. So not a bad looking vehicle. Uh, isn't this might be the one you get with the season pass when you first start, uh, which is why I didn't want to get the season pass because I didn't want to be tempted to use this. I don't know, but it's not doing very good. Maybe it has the same issue with the roof rack as the other scout vehicles. I don't know, I'm not doing this. When I have another vehicle. that will just fly through this stuff.
and it carries fuel tanks too, or fuel cans. Let's take it this way. There was a road up here, yep, right there to my left. We'll see if this road is any better. Because uh, I believe I'm going to bring hook the trailer up to the Tega. And haul the concrete. Which this road might not be the best road to take. Not pull on a trailer anyway. So off to my right. Alright, so we're getting close to an hour, so I believe I'm going to go ahead and end the video. And I'm going to go ahead and drive this over to the crane. And go ahead and refuel the crane, but I'm not going to move it until the next episode. Uh, that'll be the first thing I do in the next episode. See if we can complete this mission.